Hello everyone. My name is Holly and I am a senior chair fitness instructor for Kev's Gym. And today I'd like to welcome you into our sitting yoga exercises. So thank you for joining. Let's go ahead and begin. Let's go ahead and set ourselves nice and tall in our chairs with our back straight and we're just going to begin by taking a couple deep inhale breaths through our belly and exhale we place our hands on our stomachs inhale and exhale out So our feet are going to be placed flat on the floor in a comfortable position, either hip width apart or a little further apart, whatever feels better for you. We're going to go ahead and roll our shoulders back, beginning by going forward, up, back and down. We're going to take some nice rotations backwards with our shoulders, breathing an inhale up and an exhale back and down letting go of any tension that we may have wonderful let's go ahead and reverse directions so we're bringing our shoulders inward now starting at the back up towards our ears forward and down let's do a couple more of these inhaling as we go up exhaling as we lower and let's do one more Beautiful. Go ahead and set both shoulders back and let's tilt our head to one side. So we're thinking about bringing our ear close towards our shoulder and then back to center. We'll do the other side as well. Making sure we're breathing. A nice big inhale breath. Exhale into the stretch. Let's go to the other side again. Releasing any tension we may have our neck and shoulders. And we're going to go ahead and do this forward as well. So bringing our chin down in towards our chest and lifting our chest, chin towards the ceiling and down towards our chest, looking down towards the floor and up towards the ceiling. And as we do this, we can go ahead and take our palms and place them upright. So on our laps, our palms are facing the ceiling. And then on the next one here, we're going to go ahead and bring our head back straight, looking forward. Let's go ahead and take our hands out to the sides of our body and bring a nice inhale breath above our head. And exhale, we're going to turn our palms outwards and let them float down towards the floor. So our palms face upwards towards the ceiling on our inhale breath. Exhale, palms towards the floor, pressing downwards. We're gonna do a couple more of these. Think about really lengthening your back and stretching as high up as you can. Big inhale breath, reaching out away from you towards the sky. And exhale, the palms down. Beautiful, let's go ahead and continue with some wrist rotations. So still we're warming up our joints. We're going to be circling our wrist outward. So we're taking our fingers and stretching them out away and curling them inward and pressing out, relaxing our arms. We're gonna just wrist circle and take this out to the sides of our bodies. Now, can you do this above your head? Bringing it up towards the ceiling, trying to keep our shoulders back and down. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, start to lower your hands. Can you reach forward for me? There you go, directly straight ahead. Now with our hands forward, we're gonna place our palms towards each other. And I want you to go ahead and give me a big inhale, pulling your elbows back and then exhale bringing them in. So we're going to do this from our fingertips, really opening our chest, stretching through this movement back, bringing our shoulders, blades back and down, 
and opening the chest should feel really nice nice stretch here we can bring a little bit more flow into the movement pulling back a little bit more if you can and exhale forward now let's go ahead and relax for a moment make sure that we're still sitting up nice and tall in our seats and towards the edge of the chair where we feel comfortable let's go ahead and now take our hands all the way up above our head as far as we can. We're gonna scoop reaching forward. We're bending forward a little bit, feet flat on the floor. Inhale, lift up towards the ceiling as high as you can. Bring those arms back and down as far as you can and repeat that. So big sweeping, inhale up, exhale down. It's beautiful. All the way up above your head as far as you can reach and back. Starting to hinge over a little bit further if you can for me and exhale. Let's do one more. Inhaling up and exhaling back. Nice. Let's lift one arm uh, release down. Relax our hand on our leg and let's just take one arm and start to bring a nice flow through this arm. So what we're doing here is sweeping this hand back and forth in front of us so you can lean into the motion a little bit each time that we sweep forward and back we can straighten ourselves back up so I'm going in and exhaling think about uh, imagine that you're kind of playing in water to the side of your body here just kind of like brushing back and forth All right start to get some nice movement forward and back the hand the arm beautiful now let's go ahead and take a nice sweep all the way pick up the water and let it go behind you beautiful let's do the other side as well relax your hand onto your lap and let's start to go forward and back with the opposite arm sweeping just let everything go so Try to let any tension go that may be held in your shoulders or your wrist, your fingers. We're going to start to sweep a little bit more. So hinging forward a little bit, reach out, exhale back. Let's inhale, reaching forward and exhale back. Let's do a couple more of these. Nice. One more. Beautiful. Let's take that. Inhale that hand up above your head and exhale release it back in town Beautiful go ahead and shake it out a little bit And let's start to kind of stretch out our legs. It feels like time to stretch out our legs some So let's just bring our foot out in front of us and Bring it back now. I would like you to think about leading through the front part of your foot so reaching through your toes and bringing them back bending and straightening through your knee so we're gonna just sit up tall and do some nice stretches here now as we're doing this let's think about bringing our hands along with our foot so inhale lift exhale lower inhale lift exhale lower so the sweeping arms that we did just a moment ago we're going to incorporate those with our leg lift here and lower a little higher Good. so we're sitting out tall we're not hinging right now forward and back just lifting and lowering our leg beautiful let's change sides other side begin by your toes bringing them forward and out and back and in forward and out and back and in we're bending in our knee let's add our arms to this and our breath inhaling exhale Very nice. Lift a little higher if you like. Let's do one more nice lengthen and stretch. Beautiful. All right. Let's go ahead and warm up a little bit with our ankles and our feet to start to get some movement into them as well. So taking one foot forward. We're just going to make a nice circle. So our circle is going to go one direction outward and in. Think about drawing a nice circle with your big toe if you can. 
other way around. Beautiful. Let's bring that the opposite direction. Nice. So we're going to do it again. Going out. Let's see if we can incorporate our wrist rotations as well with our foot. A little bit of coordination there. Let's go inside. So as we rotate our ankle coming inward, our foot coming inward, we'll bring our, our wrist inside circle. Nice. Can you shake your foot out for me a little bit? Wonderful. Let's change sides. So bring our opposite foot out. We're going to go ahead and start with some nice circles. One direction. Rotate that foot out and change. Now as we go back the opposite direction the way we just went, let's start to bring that same hand coordinate it with our foot and do some nice circle rotations here in front of us and reverse direction so bring that inside beautiful shake it out a little bit nice and let's tap our feet so place your heels in the floor for me lifting your toes as high as you can tap one and then the other. Tap, tap, tap. So we're going to concentrate on letting our foot flex upward, bringing our toes as high up as we can. One and the other. You want to tap your lap, you can see if you can coordinate your hands and your feet the same. Really getting a nice flex through our wrist and our ankle at the same time. One, and let's release. Very nice, go ahead and stretch that out. All right, let's do some nice side bends and some rotation through our spine here. So taking one hand, we're gonna go ahead as we sit up tall with our feet flat on the floor. Take a nice inhale up with your hand and bring it up as high as you can. And let's do a little side body reach. So bringing the opposite hand on the rib cage if you'd like. Now open up the side of the ribs. We're just doing little tiny reaches and coming back to center. Nice and slow, no rush here. Opening up our rib cage. Now, as you come back this time, let's bring that elbow down a little bit more. So reaching across your body and bringing the elbow down a little bit more. So we're starting to let the hand float over the head. Exhaling down, inhaling. Exhaling down. Take your time with this. Nice. One more like that. Wonderful. Now let's go ahead and change sides. So reaching up nice and high and inhale breath, setting our shoulders back. Let's do a side body reach here through the opposite side. If you feel comfortable to have your hands on your rib cage, you may, or just place it on your lap. Here we can tend to really focus on the side of our body and pay attention more inwardly to what we're focusing on the movement quality so let's inhale lift and exhale lower now start to do a little more reach above your head and over and bring the elbow down to the side a little more so it's overhead feeling your rib cage expand and inhale feeling that side body stretch exhale let's do one more like that Wonderful. All right, relax it down. Let's go ahead and bring both hands onto uh, the top of our shoulders. So our fingertips 
are going to be touching the top of our shoulders and our elbows are out to the sides. I'm going to take a nice breath here. Exhale. And then I like you to do a nice little rotation, looking in one direction as far as you can, comfortably, and back to center. Let's go to the opposite side, rotating through the spine and bringing it back to center. So we rotate, looking one direction and back to center and the other direction and back to center nice now when we get to this side let's release the back hand so we're keeping this elbow in front of us right here to the front relax that one down and then bring yourself back to center let's do the opposite side as well so rotate now let that back hand come off of the shoulder, keeping that front elbow forward. Then touch it back and bring it back to center. Very nice. So it's side, release the hand, bring it back and center. Side, release the hand, bring it back up to shoulder and center. Two more like that. Remembering our breath. Last one. Nice. Now we're going to go ahead and release both hands and we're going to take one hand forward and one back. So bringing one of your hands directly in front of your body and the opposite one back. As we do this, I'd like you to look back towards the side that your, your hand is back. So look back and forward. Bring that hand forward for me, directly forward to meet the other. Take a nice inhale, look back, exhale to center. We're going to rotate here. Start to hinge a little forward for me, stretching that side body. Beautiful, inhale to exhale, back to center. Try to keep this front hand out. Like someone's trying to say, come along with me, let's go. <laughs> let's go for a stroll here. Exhale back to center, lovely. Let's do the other side as well. So one hand is reaching out forward and the other is going back. And we bring our eyes with that hand as we look back over that shoulder. Looking back, reaching forward as far forward as you can, exhaling to center. So these fingers right here, those are the ones saying, come along with me, let's go for a nice stroll, let's go. Beautiful, a lovely day, take a nice breath. Excellent, let's do one more, hinging, looking back and forward. Wonderful, and relax that down. Go ahead and just take a breath up above your head for me. Relax your spine a little bit. We're going to get into some nice um, work in our, our torso here in a moment. So let's just take our shoulders back and let's take a breath above our head with both hands up. Exhaling through center. Inhaling as we lift up and exhaling through center. We're going to lift up here with our palms towards the ceiling and now press your palms down through the center. A little bit more resistance. Lift up a little bit slower and then a little bit slower coming down. Press, 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 press towards the floor. Wonderful. Okay, let's go ahead and work in the front and back of our torso. So what I'd like you to do is still sit um, up tall in your chair with your feet flat on the floor and this time we're going to go ahead and contract our body in. So in other words, let me uh, give you an example from the side. I'm going to make a C curve with the spine. So normally we, we don't want to slouch of course when we sit but here we're going to go ahead and and slouch. So as we do this, we're going to let our our chest come in towards our belly button and we're going to let the middle of our back round in, letting our gaze lower. Then as we 
come up in our inhale breath, we're gonna stretch out and lift our chest and let our rib cage open out towards the front and go ahead and give a little stretch to our, our back here, our low back as well. So it's going to be similar to this, contracting in and back and then inhaling up forward and our gaze comes up. So our gaze is looking down as we come inward and back. And then as we inhale, we expand and open our chest. When we do this, we can think about it as a big balloon that we're inflating and deflating. Think about it as maybe a, um, a balloon that you fill with air. And as you fill that, you're expanding your rib cage, diaphragm, belly, and then as the air would go out of the balloon, you're exhaling and folding, contracting it. And you can imagine how that would be if a balloon was to just be emptied of its air. Let's go ahead and begin. Hands can be placed on the top of your thighs. We're going to go ahead and take an inhale. Exhale first, we're going to C curve our spine round back let your gaze come back and in and down towards your belly button and straighten your spine all the way up pressing out and up opening your rib cage and exhaling back again let's do this a few times inhale this should feel really really nice on your back and your shoulders even working down into your hips we're going to inhale again feeling opening our diaphragm our belly exhale empty the air back take your time with this you can even place a hand here if you feel comfortable feeling your diaphragm coming out in towards your hand and forward exhaling you can feel yourself pressing back and in let's do a couple more like this inhale exhale one more expand inhale and on the next one we're going to exhale and sink ourselves back and breathe naturally here so bring your hands out in front of you for me if you can take your palms and press them away from you keeping your chin inward and your gaze down really bringing your hands as forward as you can to open up the shoulders and upper back. Lovely, now go ahead and lower your hands down and bring yourself upright. Nice. So let's take a gentle circle rotation with our rib cage now. And we're going to bring a nice stretch into the sides of our ribs and utilize that forward and back motion that we just did. So it's going to be something like this. We're going to allow our upper body to create a nice circle, one direction that is parallel to the floor. And from the side view, we have like this, going back, side, forward and around again opening out opening our power our heart and back contracting in so our circle is not going to be very big in our rib cage because we don't want to tilt too far like this what we're really trying to do is float our upper body over top of our our hips our seated hips so if you like to hold the sides of your chair you may do that that might even feel a little bit more secure for you and a little bit uh, better framework to work within as we do this circle so sitting up tall shoulders are back relaxing our face and our jaw let's begin by starting 
by contracting in. Now go to one side for me and now bring your chest out to the front and take it to the opposite side and start back in again. So we go side, forward, side, and back. So as we're doing this also, we let our shoulders relax. We're not going to try to let them be up in here. Try to relax them down and let them move along freely with the movement that is being created through your torso. Let's do one more that direction. Wonderful, let's reverse direction. Now we go the opposite way. So take a breath. Inhale, exhale, and breathe side. Forward is inhale breath as you open your heart. Exhale, the opposite side. Nice. This should also feel a nice release and an opening in your low back into your hips. I know I feel that a little bit in the back opening as you stretch forward. It should feel really nice there. Kind of a good little massage on your spine. <laughs> Remember to your exhale in and your inhale as you bring your heart forward. And let's do one more and then we're going to be let ourselves just float back into a neutral spine. Very nice. Go ahead and stretch your legs out for me a little bit. Let's go ahead and wrap up our seating, our seated, <laughs> seating yoga exercises by stretching out one leg in front of us. And let's just hinge forward a little bit and think about bringing your fingers towards the toes. You flex your foot. Hold on to your chair if you feel more comfortable. Go ahead and bring yourself up. Let's do the other side. Bring that foot out in front of you. Stretch that leg. Flex your foot, bringing your toes up towards the ceiling. And reach forward for the, for the toes. Stretch. Nice. Let's do that again on the opposite side. This is a very good stretch for our back of our legs, our hamstrings, our calves. Wonderful, lean forward a little bit and reach for those toes. And change sides. Reaching forward, very nice. And then lastly, let's go ahead and bring a knee in towards our chest. So sitting up a little more towards the front of our chair lift your foot and hug that knee in for me as best as you can towards your chest you're gonna either hold it from the top or if you can bring your hands underneath the back of your leg if you like and pull that knee in gently towards your chest nice stretch there let's do the other side as well bring the knee up hug it in towards your chest lengthen your spine nice inhale exhale breath relax let any tension go that you might have in your ankles as well and bring it down very very nice let's go ahead and conclude our Last by sitting up as tall as we can and taking a nice breath above our head. One more time as an inhale breath. Let's bring our hands together in prayer position and exhale towards our heart. Bring it back up, inhaling from the floor. Exhaling back through center. Nice, let's leave our hands in prayer position at our heart and bring our ear to a shoulder. Elbows are out towards the side, pressing our palms together. Tilt your head the opposite side. Beautiful, let's go from looking side to side. So looking over one shoulder and back to center and let's look over the opposite shoulder 
hand back to center and then lower your elbows and let's go ahead and give a nice bow beautiful job everyone and thank you so much for joining me i hope you enjoyed this class and i'll see you next time bye